You may have heard the term social distancing recently. Social distancing. Social distancing. In terms of the social distancing. But what does that actually mean? Everyone in the UK has been asked to stay at home whenever possible and to stop any non-essential contact with others. That means working from home if you are a non-critical part of the workforce and when you do go out, staying at least two metres away from others. Why are you being asked to socially distance yourself? While COVID-19 is harmless in most cases, for those who are elderly or vulnerable, it can be deadly. Thousands are dying all over the world from the disease. If you carry on as normal and go to work on public transport, for example, you may spread the disease to others, who then spread it on to others and the cycle continues. If one person spreads the virus to three people in one day, and those three people spread it to another three people each. After 10 jumps, you will have spread the virus to 59,000 people. Once the virus is in contact with the elderly and vulnerable, many will have to go to hospital and be put on ventilators to survive. Hospitals only have a certain capacity to hold a number of sick people at any given time. If this number goes over capacity, many more will die. The only way to stop hospitals going over capacity and saving thousands of lives in the process is to socially distance. You must act as if you are already infected with the virus. Only then can you stop the virus from spreading. Most people who have the virus have either mild or no symptoms. However, social distancing isn't about you. It's about protecting those who are at serious risk of dying if they contract the illness. So do your duty and stay at home.